Francois saw unimaginable horrors while detained. When Isol held him in an Aleppo hospital, he routinely heard and saw the aftermath of his captors' torture of local Syrians and Iraqis who fell afoul of their hardline rules. Uh, we could see uh, some of them in the corridors when we were taken to the toilets, and we could see some people lying in, in, in their blood, and you could see the, uh, the chains hanging or the ropes hanging or the, uh, the, the, the iron bars. As a former captive, Francois had an incredible perspective on the inner workings of an opaque and new organization. He says the Iraqis and Syrians joining the group have tribal backgrounds and are more traditional and conservative. Sometimes it's not easy for them to fit in with jihadists from other countries because they don't share the same ideas, behaviors, and codes, and this leads to tension between them. Francois admitted survival was a matter of trying to exist in between these two groups. Zhang Dan, CCTV.